So also I was gonna ask you about uh, you discussing the data that was released at Atrium's 2020 meeting uh, to uh, about, it says a meeting you know, on time to first relapse after treatment with cladribine in the clarity study. I was wondering what your thoughts were on that. So you started the discussion off with our, our, um, our goals for MS therapy and introducing in, induction versus escalation therapy. And, and, and you know, after, after I finish kind of giving my, my perspective on this, maybe you can chime in of, of whether or not you, you feel that this is an induction therapy uh, as well. I, I, I think it is. This is um, so, so Clarity was the pivotal trial that evaluated oral cladribine versus placebo in the treatment of relapsing forms uh, of MS. And so patients were randomized to placebo or various dosages or two different doses of uh, weight-based of, of oral cladribine. Um, so those patients who were on, on uh, uh, placebo were then uh, I, uh, given the option to go on to active drug. And, and then there was a, a second in the extension trial, patients who uh, were treated with a 3.5 milligram per, per kilogram could get, uh, uh, after two years, could uh, be randomized to either placebo or an additional dose of 3.5 mg mil per, per kilogram. And uh, what, what this extension trial showed is that, is that redosing really didn't make a difference in the proportion of patients that were relapse free over four years. So you, given the initial uh, 3.5 mg per kilogram uh, given in, in uh, two courses, two cycles, each separated by uh, a year, had a durable effect over a four year course uh, with respect to uh, the proportion of patients that were were relapse free. So you started about 90% uh, at year one, and then over the four years, uh, around uh, 70%. Uh, and, and there was no difference between those patients who received the, um, the, the additional uh, dose after the first two years. So uh, this is a drug that I personally have been very uh, fond of, and I feel that it's been a, a medication that has been very effective in the patients that I have used it on. Uh, what are your thoughts about the concern about the black, spot, black box warning, uh, the possibility of increased malignancy with this medication? Well, my, my thoughts on that is if it's used within the labeling parameters that, that we have now, uh, the risk is low. And I, I also think it brings up an awareness of secondary malignancies in all of our, our MS patients on, on most of the newer disease modifying therapy. So our immune system's there to protect us against infections. It's also there to survey our normal cellular landscape for the uh, evolution of, of potentially malignant uh, cells. So I, I think that if you look at the, the data, overall it's in line with, um, with other registry data in MS patients not on therapy and with, with the, the, uh, the normal populations. There, there didn't seem to be a specific malignancy that uh, emerged, so there wasn't a trend towards one uh, yeah. specific malignancy, which makes me feel more comfortable. Um, but I, I do think that it, it, it raises an awareness uh, in all of us that we have to counsel our patients to do their routine health care, uh, you know, routine cancer screens. It's extremely important. You know, I know that there is a, a very good study out there that looks at the uh, different rates of malignancies in all of the trials. Mm -hmm. And um, the truth is, is there were definitely medications that had higher rates of malignancy than cladribine, but the placebo group was similar. So that why it, that a red flag did not you know develop as it did when the Clarity trial. So I think one of the most interesting thing about the Clarity trial was not so much the rate of malignancy in the treated group; it was significantly low rate of malignancy in the placebo group. Right, that and imbalance. I think, yeah, I think that that's what led to the imbalance and led to that to that black box warning. And so uh, I think that that that's extremely important to know. And I uh, and. I believe it was a Stu it was Dr. Stewart who who, who uh, uh, put out that paper that showed the different rates of malignancies with different uh, uh, medications, and it was mm -hmm. it was uh, very enlightening to me to review that and to realize that this is an issue to a degree 
with all of our medications, but it also gave me a peace of mind about the usage of Maven, uh, the usage of Quadrivy. Right, absolutely, absolutely.